a very good evening to all cat 2022 takers uh hi hello from uh, myself rahul anand and uh, i have with me uh, kamlesh chauhan sir uh, hello everyone uh, we right so uh, today uh, was uh, the cat day um i hope uh, you must have had uh, a nice outing uh, with uh, cat uh, let's talk about uh, what uh, went on the day so how we have uh, planned this uh, interaction is on the at the first level we will talk about uh, what uh, came in the exam uh, we'll also do some uh, comparative analysis of uh, what uh, some things which were expected or unexpected compared to the previous year uh we will also talk about uh, a, a little bit on uh, how the slots varied uh, uh, amongst themselves slot 1 2 and 3 uh thereafter once we are done with that discussion we will give you some idea on first day first impression understanding of score versus percentile now that is based on uh, a few hundred uh, entries that we have got from our students and uh, faculty team so but then the, it's the first day so it's the first day impression after the paper is uh, uh, released uh, we might be making some tweaks to it but that's something which we do every year right uh, further moving into the discussion we will uh, also talk about what lies ahead after cat right uh, so uh, uh, i hope uh, you will uh, spend the next uh, uh, time uh, moments with us uh, to understand exactly how the day went and what lies ahead right uh, so let's get started with that first thing first uh, how was the paper verbal ability section let's start with that uh, as uh, i often talk about uh, in my sessions and classes a uh, cat has got into that habit of holding the nose the other way round right not like this but trying to do it that way uh, what i mean is the questions were tricky again critical reasoning type questions not very direct in application right uh, but then that is something which was expected uh, we had talked about it a lot uh, that is something which has been trending in cat for the past 2 3 years right uh, so critical reasoning and inference based questions were there uh, apart from that in terms of reading uh, it was pretty uh, readable that is what uh, the first feedback is 3 uh, out of 4 around 75% of the uh, verbal ability section overall that that is what uh, i could assess uh, was comfortable enough to read and also as we uh, often talk about uh, there was a mix of uh, contemporary style and old school style articles right uh, there there were there was some articles uh, uh, in now there, there are different slots and i i won't particularly talk about an article but then there was something related to technology and nature also uh, there, there there was something uh, related to uh, you know environment also right octopuses to be particular uh, there, there were uh, things related to old school uh, thoughts as well right so that variety was also there so uh, not very unexpected in, in that aspect i would say but yes cat always has its bag of surprises something or the other every year uh, and this year it was fill in the blanks right uh, there there were no questions on odd one out yes uh, odd one out many of many students whom i met today they actually uh, did not like the thought that you know they had to spend some extra time on uh, understanding a new question type rather than attempting odd one out which a lot of students like a lot in vr in terms of accuracy uh, the general feedback i get is that you know odd one out is easy to do relative to para jumbles so uh, but then uh, if that was the case with you it will be with everyone right so uh, take keeping that into mind i i believe if i compare the verbal ability section with the last year since you know even even if one topic is changed a couple of questions get changed it does impact the score a bit so a little little lower than last year is what my assessment would be uh coming to the second section which was uh, dilr well uh dilr uh, guys uh, many students uh, again when they come out they feel that dilr was tough now this is something which has been a norm for the past uh, i guess kamlesh sir i and our team we have been discussing this for the past 7 8 years dilr is supposed to be tough right mm-hmm. but then we prepare accordingly right 
uh, Kamlesh sir, Nadesh sir, the kind of sets they, they solve, the, the kind of sets you get in mocks. If you compare to that, right, then I did not find that it was surprising at all. Uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you why. A, a couple of things. Uh, point number one, uh, there was one easy set in every slot, right? Uh, in the in the first slot, uh, there, there was uh, you know uh, there was a set on uh, uh, trains, times, not not a lot of variables, so e e easy to uh, do. Uh, in the second slot, there was a uh, there were two actually, which uh, so the second slot DLR was relatively easier. That is the feedback which I got, but just a little bit, right? Uh, so second slot, uh, th there was a graph based question as well. So there was a direct DI. In the third slot also, uh, and in and the second slot, there was a roots and network set also, which was not very difficult, doable. In the third slot, uh, there was a tabular DI, again doable, right? Apart from that, all the slots had questions which were related to numeric logic. Again, something which Nazis sir uh, take, takes uh, up in lots of depth. Uh, one set in every slot is the feedback that I got was slightly uh, tricky. Right, which had you know like uh, four variables, lots of choices to make, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, one difficult, two doable, one easy. That is the general uh, feedback. Interesting thing: four sets, not a lot, and with five questions each, so not a lot of uh, choices to make. Right. So that chance that you can get, you you not not able to read a set and get something totally wrong. That chance was less here. Correct. Because there were only four sets. Right. So. Uh, Mm, the level in general is moderate to difficult for the DLR section, but then that is expected. So, in, in terms of what we do in classes and mocks, it was not a surprise. Uh, that is how I, I would put it. Coming to the last section, uh, QA. Now, uh, this is something again which we say often, we need to pull ourselves up when it comes to the last section because energy tends to get down by the time the quant section arrives. Uh, that happened with some students today, but in general, uh, those who could select and solve uh, will be able to do uh, good. Questions overall were moderate in level, not very easy. Why? I'll tell you. They were lengthy to solve. This is a common feedback, right? From slot 1 to slot 3, a little bit more. Slot 3, uh, QA was slightly tricky compared to slot 1. Okay? Uh, that, uh, that That's what I heard. Uh, and slot 2 as well. Now, the questions after you read, solving was taking time. It was not, you know, the, uh, just a one or two step solution. But then the flip side to it is that it was largely, uh, you know, arithmetic uh, backed and uh, with a bit of algebra and very little of the other topics. So when CAD goes that way, right, selection and solving becomes easier. You know, there were uh, some years CAD has also done this, like, you know, a lot of questions on logs, search and indices, etc. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen this way. Yes, a little bit of, you know, uh, proportion surprise was that uh, geometry was not that much. There were more questions. Uh, overall, you know, it was like two questions on mensuration and maybe a, one on geometry, that, that kind of a mix. Uh, what we saw uh, in, in general today. So, putting. Not. So, overall, if you see uh, topics a little bit here and there, maybe a couple of questions less on geometry, but that was more on uh, arithmetic, but not a lot of difference compared to the previous year patterns or compared to the way we plan and prepare, right? Uh, once the paper gets out, uh, all the slots that we have gone through, I'm pretty sure that uh, if we sit and go through the kind of topics and questions that we have uh, covered in class, it, there will be a huge overlap in almost all the concepts that we have done, so not very surprising uh, the way this paper was uh, uh, formulated. Uh, now, uh, but it's a speed test, right? Selection is important, right? Accuracy is important. So those things will also come into account as they do every year, right? So uh, now, uh, next, uh, we will uh, take a look into what we believe uh, the scores uh, would look like uh, on a general level. General, I mean, just to give you an idea, right? It's the first day today. Uh, so, slot wise, getting into exact differences doesn't make a lot of sense till the paper is out. Uh, but we will talk about in general what kind of attempts mm -hmm. would take you to uh, what kind of scores. But before I do that, a small uh, sum up of uh, uh, difference between the uh, slots. Uh, what I feel, first slot, uh, 
verbal had one difficult rc uh the second slot there was one lengthy rc not a difficult to read but lengthy third slot had one again difficult to read rc uh second slot had dilr slightly one easier set that is the feel i got uh practically uh you know the first slot would also be almost similar but then lr versus di generally di becomes a little uh you know uh, easier to tackle uh on the whole uh first slot QA was slightly difficult than the second slot and the third slot QA was maybe a, a step more than that. So in general, sections a little bit up and down, but more or less it was pretty much uniform, right? I don't think a lot of normalization or something like that makes sense. It was pretty similar across the, uh, you know, uh, slots. So uh, I hope uh, you got a fair idea of uh, how, how this year uh, uh, compares to the last year as well, right? On that note, uh, Let's move forward into this discussion. Uh, Kamlesh sir, uh, uh, could, could you, uh, I, I'm sure the students must be waiting for what our uh, you know, numbers yeah. look like. So could you once, uh, you know, just uh, tell the students about uh, what the numbers expected are and then we'll carry forward the discussion. Okay, so as uh, discussed by you that the verbal was slightly difficult because of the change in pattern. Okay, so we, we expect a little bit drop in the marks uh, for DILR and QA it will be more or less similar to what CAT 21 scores were so if you see uh, in term so for 99 percentile so we expect uh, 39 marks which is 13 questions for verbal section to get 99 percentile 3 13 correct questions DILR uh, it will be 28 questions Okay, uh, so that is something 9 to 10 questions, correct question you have to get. Uh, QA 36, okay, uh, so around 12 correct questions, more or less similar to CAT 21. So overall you have to score around 99 to get 99 percentile. Okay. Now when we talk about 90 percentile, uh, then there is a drop again. Okay. So in VA, eight questions will suffice. Similarly, for DILR, around six to seven questions. For QA, again, six to seven questions will give you 90 percentile. So more or less, it's same as CAT 21 uh, score versus percentile. And we, we expect it to be uh, exactly same. Okay, maybe a little bit of difference means plus minus two, uh, one, two three marks. That's it. So that is what you, you that or the so, the percentile versus uh, the thing score uh, analysis is. So in in uh, in general, uh, to get uh, uh, for a general category student any I am called a sectional cutoff. I guess the way uh, the scores uh, look, uh, I, I guess uh, five questions. If, if, as you mean, just hypothetically, hundred percent accuracy. So uh, five to six questions, QA and DILR, I guess would be sufficient yeah. and uh, verbal could be maybe seven, eight, right? So or maybe eight, nine. Uh, means most nine. of the IMs keep 85 percentile as the uh, the benchmark for each sectional cutoff. Okay. So uh, means you rightly said, okay, so for uh, VA section, it will be around uh, 21 marks. Okay. For DILR, it will it is it is around seventeen, so around six questions as you said. And for QA again, it will be on similar lines. You, you need to uh, score around uh, six, uh, 16, 17, which is around uh, six questions. So that that is the prediction for sectional cutoff for all the IMs because the eighty five percentile is most of the IMs keep as sectional cutoffs. So. Uh just to uh, to uh, get a bit more idea on this, uh, what would be the uh, just hypothetically assuming that hundred percent accuracy is there, yep. just for you know mm -hmm. the primary level understanding, uh, what kind of number of attempts overall would lead to an eighty percentile? So eighty percentile will be uh, forty two marks. Okay, that is forty two marks. So. 14, 15 correct attempts will give you means 18, 80 percentile. So 14 out of 66 questions. Yeah. So little bit more okay. than 20 and percentage. Yeah. And uh, uh, for an 85 percentile, 
85 percentile it will be a slightly higher okay so we are expecting it to be around 48 49 so 16 correct question uh, should be uh, means 85 percentile overall so 16 right, so this is uh, yes so uh, I, I hope uh, this uh, in, in terms of first day understanding of uh, you know how the percentile and scores go uh, I guess uh, this uh, general understanding will be good enough for you right uh, furthermore uh, once the paper comes uh, you know uh, details uh, you, you, you'll be able to get the details right uh, that what exactly uh, you know the expectations uh, should be uh, uh, let, let me sum it up around uh, you know uh, assuming uh, let's take it into some practical level right assuming a 90 percent uh, plus minus accuracy 100 uh, percent is uh, you know it doesn't work normally a 90 percent kind of accuracy something around 16 questions will get you an 80 plus percentile closer to 20 questions will help you sail through you know 85 percentile right uh, and maybe another three four questions would take you closer to 90 percentile right so Broadly speaking, 15, uh, 16 to 25 attempts yeah. is that 80 to 90 percentile kind of a range if you are 90 percent accurate. Correct. Right? And uh, you know, uh, going beyond on the, on the other side, around you know, uh, 40 attempts with confidence hmm. at a practically you know around a 90 percent accuracy will take you to a 99 percentile. Correct. That is the kind of uh, understanding you know, uh, talking with uh, different uh, students and teachers, uh, you know, on how how much they could attempt. Uh, that's, uh, that's the kind of idea we could get, get right and uh, it becomes uh, pretty uh, you know uh, depending on the past year trends our, our experience in analyzing papers and the, given the fact that uh, you know we, we are a bunch of seven people with 99 plus in all sections so you know we have that idea on uh, uh, how percentiles work so uh, I guess uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you know uh, go through the blog article as well which we'll be sharing uh, to get an idea but 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 having said all this uh, it's the first day uh, of the cat. Uh, numbers might uh, go up and down. Do not overthink about this. Get an idea about you know how many could you attempt, what kind of percentile that might lead to. But now, according to me, you know, a day or two you should go and relax. Correct. Uh, or maybe if you, you are in college, go back to your college classes, you know, exams or friends, whatever. Uh, just for a couple of days, take a break. Uh, because uh, you know, many of you might be taking other exams also, like uh, that. IFT and uh, CMAT, uh, other exams are uh, yet to come, right? Or even if you're not, uh, or you are, uh, GD, VAT, EI, these rounds are still uh, uh, up uh, ahead, right? So, uh, what ideally, when I was a student, I, after taking the exam, I don't worry a lot, right? Uh, because it's like, you know, uh, what's done is done. I've done my best, right? And uh, now uh, let, let's move forward, yes? So, uh, that, that's my view on that. Uh, uh, Commissioner, uh, could you give uh, the students a couple of minutes an idea on, uh, you know, what uh, ZAT, CMAT, what PI classes and all, uh, you know, we, we uh, normally conduct uh, at the institute? Yeah. So, uh, as Rahul said, said that uh, means after today, uh, means you, you can take a break of a couple of days break and then uh, means we will start the classes for that specifically because that has a section uh, decision making which is entirely different means uh, so we, which we have not studied so far so we, we take good number of classes on that we clear means we go from concept point of view to practice point of view uh, you will have uh, that mock tests as well so means because that is the second most important exam so we, we give a lot of means importance to it uh, once that is done Okay, uh, we, uh, apart from that, for other exams, IFT, SNAP, and MAT, we'll have uh, a few means uh, individual session where we'll talk about the strategy and wh what needs to be uh, done to ace these uh, the other exams. Uh, CMAT generally happens in uh, the month of uh, February, so we we take uh, certain special classes for CMAT specifically. All the the topic which uh, we have covered so far for CAT, they they suffice, and we have. Uh, covered questions from varied levels means easy to moderate so the main focus will be on the solving and understand uh, the part where we will align means will tell you what are the means difficulty level and topics you need to focus on for CMAT and 
in january uh, the result is out in the first week uh, the cat result so after that so the uh, we, we will start uh, mostly it i mean so it will be uh, maybe a day or uh, two before that so you, you need to keep calm okay and focus on that and then we'll be we'll be, uh, begin a one month long uh, GD, gdpi vat program where we discuss uh, the topics uh, and we we discuss about uh, pi faqs and we we take sessions on uh, personal interviews as well you will have individual personal interviews where we'll give you detailed feedback on your answers and everything uh, the session will also be uh, there for resume uh, vat which is written ability test as well as uh, we'll conduct sessions for uh, the general knowledge topics because you you can be asked questions related to general knowledge uh, during your interviews so that is uh, something which will occur so kind of we will uh, means hold your hands till you get into your dream college so just be rest assured that uh, we we are there with you so that that is the plan ahead uh, right so uh to add to that uh, we will also be working on your uh, you know uh, in general communication and profile also uh when it comes to the gdpi yes. can uh, so uh, uh, and you know uh, there, there there are some uh, digital analytics marketing uh, stuff that's also going to come your way uh, in jan feb uh, there some of you there, there's an internship so a lot of profile work uh, i uh, will also happen so you know uh, you you will be able to have a very nice resume by the time you are ready to go into your uh, interviews so a, a lot of things uh, that lie ahead uh, in, in general I, i was just looking at the uh, schedule uh, which lies ahead there is an ift strategy and solving uh, seminar and uh, but a, a, apart from that uh, you know uh, ift general studies and that decision making and vat pi this content will start coming in your reading telegram group now so till now you were getting general reading now and even that rcs they are slightly different so that rc decision making need a, a, a slight different reading approach so that will begin in your telegram group now so keep reading there yep. right uh, uh, till uh, your uh, you know uh, gdpi and everything goes uh, the reading part uh, is important uh, stay tuned on that as well right uh, you have done that now move forward and uh, start uh, knocking uh, the other exams with confidence uh, it's that is not the end it's just the beginning right uh, that, that's the you know the game life plays you feel that everything i've been doing is like you know cat is the big thing but once you do that uh, you will get people like us who will come and tell you that okay done well good now you have to do the next thing right so life moves on right and there are always once you reach a certain level of excellence more and more is expected out of you and you also expect more from yourself so now the next thing is take the other exams properly and very well prepare for that gdpi these things that we do at we factory right with our entire experience in uh, mba and uh, corporate uh, what uh, and there are lots of uh, guest experts from our network they, they also join right so what, what what you get is a training for life yeah right many of our students two four years after going from there they say sir we use the same tips and tricks for interviews and gd uh, in our you know summer placements final placements right so obviously once you work on yourself in terms of personality and uh, you know interview skills etc these things will stay with you for life right so a very exciting uh, and uh, uh, i would use the word uh, you know uh, enterprising uh, months uh, lie ahead right uh be the good learners that you are and uh, as kamlesh sir said let's walk the road together on those words uh it's uh thank you very much and have a good night sleep and have some fun jack welch uh, g40 year ceo right he said work hard party harder a party doesn't necessarily mean a particular thing it can mean any way you like to you know uh, let yourself out relax uh, uh so do that on those words uh from the minister and uh, myself thank you very much thank you bye bye, bye.